Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 semi-final between Zazu and Range, and this is the final match. On a two-player map, upper left-hand corner. Oops, I need to score update. Sorry for the black screen once again. Thank you, chat, for letting me know that I need to score update, but... In the black again. I wish it would just stay. Maybe if I full screen it. Anyway. Two-player map, Invader. We have not seen Invader quite a bit. So, a review. You've got the two eggs out in the front that are extremely popular. You have the very exposed third that does have a gas near this direction and you've got a ramped 12 o'clock and then they're showing off the, that they can do vertical ramps now with this with the 12 o'clock and the uh Vespin guys are as a side tidbit they've discovered actually when ramps are vertical like this they're facing this direction and a uh, scv's up here and you build a bunker down below it does uh artosis was right it does not make they've actually found that bug in 2024 still discovering little Niche things happening in the Brood War space. Pile on down at the front for ranged. I have to say, the one thing, if I was going to comment on one of range's major strengths here, up to this stage of the match. Oh, and are we seeing... Okay, nine. I think that was a nine pool. I'm like, was that a four pool? No. I wouldn't put it past Azu. It looks like he's going to go nine pool extractor speed. And I'm shocked he's doing this on a two-player map. Because ranged able to just walk up and spot it. And gonna go ahead and go forge first to help defend it. Also, the kind of split. I, I think this is still decent for 973, but <clears throat> it's a little bit of a compacted choke, so the spread of cannons can work out pretty well, which might be why we're seeing a forge opener. But ranged upon seeing nine pool speed should dedicate a cannon first, especially because it's a two player map. Three Zerglings. Or I should say three pairs being built. Does not make a full house. Double cannon dropped from ranged. Make sure you can defend against it. I will say up to this stage, the thing, yeah, the, the thing I would say that was strong about ranged style of play was his game sense. And it's impressive that Zazu has been able to win a lot of games essentially through his own tricky game scenarios and actually tacking on an additional pair of Zerglings. Looks like it is going to be Nexus rather than Gateway in the front. Maybe he just wants to clear out that probe to create a bit of ambiguity in between. Once Zergling speeds up, it'll be very difficult to try to maintain that. We are seeing a hatchery drop. Now the Zerglings, okay, they're, yeah, getting hit on that edge. They're not going to cycle around. A third cannon drop rather than forge from ranged and that was wise because we see another this was a fake here of yeah okay I'm actually going drones potentially but it's actually in fact zerglings I think ranged with his game sense recognizing yeah this is going to be all in zergling to follow up at this stage with zergling speed it's very difficult to keep that probe alive but sees just the edge of those zerglings constructed so now knows that's well worth it now dropping that gateway in front and I'm going to say at this stage, it is Range's game to lose. Ranged. Ranges. It's hard to say that. <clears throat> Probe's already starting to cycle out to defend the front. We have this cute little probe going along that back edge to see if there was a shift in tech overall. The lower area blockaded as well. And Zazu initially moving forward, but doesn't like what he sees. And the probe actually going to be able to walk up and find, well, okay, not going to find the third, but he's going to be able to walk in and see a completely empty natural, which will confirm that these Zerglings were going to go for the end around. Zerglings are going to be disappointed here. Yeah, still trying to get that edge. So that's a lot of expended Zerglings for a probe and nothing else. Two probes. They got two probes. Ranged up eight workers here. And is able to spot the lack of gas in between there. <laughs> Zazu admitting he hasn't played this map before. And so just wanted to go for the Zergling all in. Now, with a cybernetic score and it's it's kind of that rush to that anti-air. And top speed could be in trouble. He's forced to go Hydralisk. To follow things up. Does have that 12 o'clock base coming online, but all those Zerglings expended. This puts him well behind. 
Although ranged is going to be a little bit slower on the Zealots. And he is going to be down these three. We're now playing a little bit overcautious. Which I do not blame him. <coughs> given the... Uh, given everything that's happened up to this stage. But right now... Ranged on the precipice of a finals berth. Going to be close. 12 o'clock location. Uh, it looks like Zazu has shifted out of Zergling production. Is now building as many workers as he can. Three Zerglings just guarding the front. Now that that third Zealot is out, I think these probes can go ahead and make their way back. Plus one weapons complete as well. He's still holding it, actually. Yeah, going to go out and actually clear a couple Zerglings. See if he marches out as well, forcing something out. Fourth hatch now dropped from Zazu. He's actually pumped the drones quite heavily. To try to readjust into this. Stargate and Citadel of Adun being built. The one problem for Zazu is with all of that early delayed tech, is he going to have anything for a eight or nine minute Zealot plus one move out potentially? Right now... Dropping the Hydra Sten to go towards 4-Hatch four, four Hydra. This is going to be without Lair. So let's see if it just turns into 5-Hatch Hydra for him overall. Sometimes you'll see Zerg transition back to that. No additional gas. So it looks like it is in fact going to be some form of Zealot play. And the first Corsair is going to be out. That's certainly... Oops. There's certainly going to be a dead Overlord here. But... If I was ranged, yeah, I would just go out and make sure I see what's happening on the front for <coughs> with some degree of certainty. Zerglings spreading out just in case some zealots were wanting to walk out on the map. Again, peeking at the front, getting a good look at the zealot count at the very least. Second gas grab is being spotted. The Hydra is then as well. And actually working on that overlord with the Hydra out of position. Might get it. Halfway there. This is going to be close. Yeah, I actually might be able to get it and not even take a, a lick of base damage for the kill. Nice little bonus there for ranged. Is he going to duck in and spot the lair? I think he he's holding currently. Hasn't pressed in to confirm lair as of yet. But for him, he's going to go ahead and make his way up, I think, to six gateways behind this. He already has plus one weapons and zealot leg speed constructing otherwise. That's four. I'm looking for the two additional. So there's one. I'm looking for one more gateway on top of this. Usually six gate. Zergling careening out. Zelts with plus one making their way out. Eight minutes. I was right. I was thinking, okay, this is off. It's going to be delayed a little bit. I'm pretty proud I said eight minutes. I threw in the nine minutes just to, just to cover my bases. But let's see if Zazu has enough to defend this. The thing for range is he doesn't need to dedicate an attack if he feels like it's not going to be a favorable engagement. And on top of that, what that does is that applies pressure to Zazu to continue building a lot of troops. Looks like he's going to get some free damage on a handful of these zealots. More zealots grouping up. And Zazu is going to chase these zealots all the way back to that natural expansion, potentially. Plus one weapons is complete. Zazu down on supply. He actually might not have as large an army, a single Zergling getting picked off as well. But let's see if Zazu goes for a follow-up contain. Keep in mind he doesn't have, well he does have Lair Tech, but he doesn't have Lurker Tech this time to provide some support. And the Zealots, look at this, need to be careful. They're sneaking, trying to, maybe uh, four Zealots or five Zealots could sneak out to the left, but I think more than that. And it could be disastrous. Two Zealots. Sneaking their way across. Zazu backing his way up. He is grabbing a third gas. I'm not sure what he's planning on utilizing that third gas with. He does have Lurker Tech building in the background. Unfortunately, it's a difficult contain off three bases because of the architecture. Where, yeah, you can create a contain to the north. But a probe can always sneak out down the ramp to the west. And we already have a Corsair that's hanging out at the three o'clock an open field if it wants to go ahead and make its way out. Seven gateways online. As the Hydralisks have not been able to damage the front. Plus two ar or plus one armor on the way. Those eggs being opened up. I forgot to mention the annoying eggs that create some blockade. And this actually might be some trouble because these High Templar might not be in position. 
as Zazu's army is moving towards the natural. So Zazu down. He needs to strike some damage here or get a really solid contain. Moving up with a lot of Hydralisks. Again, the High Templar just now moving into position. Psystorm not finished. A lot of cannons back here, though. And the High Templar moving too far forward. Both of them picked off. And that was zero Psystorms. So Zazu might be able to take this now. The High Templar backing out. There's the Psy Storm. And Range has to be kicking himself right here. This might be final game nerves. Now has enough to defend, but that was a huge mistake. That was a lot of Psy Storm that was not participating in that battle, so expended a lot more troops than he wanted to. Still in a pretty solid position. Zealot's going to go ahead and march out and should be able to clear out... Yeah, push back the Hydralisks. <clears throat> But still it has to be frustrating. Observatory coming in play. I believe that Corsair died somewhere here. Never mind. It looks it's right here. It's hanging out. Lurkers morphing here at the three o'clock. The Zealot sees it, but can't really do a lot about it. The Zealot's marching out. It looks like they just want to try to he just wants to try to force the Hydralisks away. No dragoons out on the front. We are gonna have the first observer. I think that's the first observer taking the field. The, the Hydralisks are moving back, engaging the natural. Bit of an empty size storm once again. And Zazu needs to be careful because right this second, these are a little bit bunched up. The Zealots look like they're getting cleaned up at the natural pretty easily. Still 0 0 upgrades for Zazu. Any other Zerg, I would say this is a nominal position for them. But we'll see if Zazu is able to make something out of it. More Psy Storm out on the front. Lurkers getting swarmed by Zealots and Dragoons. Nice defense of the Observer this time. High Templar gets picked off underneath. Range trying to regather that army. Not much of an army back here from Zazu, so this is a much softer contain than usual. No Overlord in position to deal with that Observer. Range having a little bit of trouble microing his army around. As soon as that single lurker is wiped out, though, it's just going to be Hydralis trying to defend the front, and we do have a good amount of Psy Storm to potentially deal with them. Oh, these Dragoons moving a little bit out of position. That, But the follow-up Psy Storm is brilliant. Able to get equal damage, and it looks like rather than going for the third of the three o'clock, he's already started that third at that exposed mineral... Central Mineral only. There is a drone hanging out, maybe to grab a fourth bottom left. More Lurkers piling forward. And again, this is not a... Because of this ramp, this isn't a standard contain. And the way these Lurkers are presenting themselves... Yeah, it looks like they're just going to go ahead and get wiped up. So they're not going to be much of a threat. Hatchery bottom left. Psystorm catching at least one of the Lurkers. So there's just that one that remains. And the Forge still stands. And that's going to be able to cycle out plus two weapons. Hydralisks and Lurkers looking like they want to go for an attack at the third. Range might have some trouble reinforcing as the probes are making their way that direction. Currently it's just three cannons. Single Dragoon there. They might get there right in the nick of time. Right now, an Overlord's been picked off as well. That's in the red. The Lurkers trying to plant... High Templar Psy Storming. That Psy Storm's mostly a whiff. And now it's the upgrades of the Dragoons that'll have to carry. And it looks like not... Yeah, the probe's just not getting touched. So that third base, just a death field. Kind of that candy box that has nothing in it. Except for violence. Weird commentator take right that second. Archon morphing beautifully. So that fourth base is going to come online, but Range has managed to secure the third. He's gotten really good exchanges up to this stage. He's up 40 supply. We don't have a tech to hive behind this, and the upgrades have... are Well, 1-1. One, one. They're actually not bad. But two level 2 weapons just now finishing for ranged. Looks like he's got some lurkers here bottom left that are going to have some trouble. The Hydros and lurkers want to get another shot at the vertical cannon line at the natural expansion. Mostly, I think he's just hoping to occupy range long enough that he's able to get that fourth base up and maybe get some 
worker saturation to equalize things. But right now, it looks like Range has established that third base. He's got a healthy amount of infrastructure as long as he keeps it running. He will just eventually have a massive army advantage over Zazu. Forge finally gets picked off, but it's done. It's honestly been heroic in its efforts at this stage. Two lurkers trying to sneak underneath. Cannons are right there. And range now has a large <coughs> ball mid-map. Top speed still think or Zazu's still thinking about going for some sort of contain, but it's not gonna happen. Not on Invader. And speaking of invasion, ranged now out on the map. I think he's hoping there's an additional expansion here. He's going to walk in and find nothing. But might be able to reposition the army, and depending on Psy Storms. Might be able to get something done. But this is a ramp he has to walk up with an egg in the way. But right now, Zazu is not engaging, so range might have an opportunity. He's getting a good amount of Dragoons up the ramp. Now it's a question of micro. So actually inside the natural, underneath Zazu's army, Observer standing. Looks like they are finally being targeted, finally backing off. The High Templar are having trouble gauging up. Now some size Storm. Catching the Lurkers as they're transitioning. And that's going to wipe all three of them out. And that might have been the game-winning maneuver for ranged. He was already in a solid position. But right now, top Zazu's natural expansion breach. More Lurkers moving their way up. Eating more size Storm as they're making their way across. The Observer is still right there. And the Dragoons getting a lot of damage done. Let's see if they can even get on. Yeah, it looks like they're picking off some drones as well. So this is an emptied natural. A lot of dead lurkers. Really solid exchange, and that's going to be a fourth base now for range. And that bottom left looks like it is starting to saturate, but that's going to replace a dead base right there. Another large army refill, which is now triple the supply of Zazu, making its way towards that 12 o'clock location. There's only a single sunken colony to try to defend. Plus two weapons along the side, and I don't think Zazu has enough. He just does not have the raw army to, hold, to stem the tide. Zealots immediately getting on top of that sunken colony. The Zealots can just stay up here while the rest of the army remains on the low ground. Zazu recognizes it. GG right there. Ranged will move on to the finals to face the other side of the bracket between Jiraiya and Urban. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.